our final peak of the evening. Brings us to the San Francisco Bay Area <coughs> in 1904. <laughs> Based on the comic book by Henry Yoshitaka Kiyama, from composer, book writer, and lyricist Ning Kang, directed by Leslie Martinson. This is the Four Immigrants manga with Brian Pollock, Will Dow, Sean Fenton, Benjamin Wen, Dana Xu, Lawrence Michael Arias, Lindsay Hirata, and Karina Lastimo de Salazar. of our evening, the four immigrants manga. An American musical extravaganza! <laughs> <laughs> manga? That don't sound very American. Manga means comic book. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, flappers and gigolos, the four immigrants manga, a comic book chronicle by Henry Kiyama. Kiyama? That don't sound very American. That's because he was Japanese. Then how can this be an American musical extravaganza? You don't have a broad understanding of culture, do you? Broad understanding of culture. That don't sound very American. <laughs> <laughs> Discombobulating as it may sound, Kiyama was a Japanese artist who came to America, lived in America, and studied American art at the San Francisco Art Institute. So, they finally put the artists away in an institution. <laughs> he was then inspired to scribble down his American escapades and those of his three good friends in an American comic book format inspiring some crazy American to adapt his work into... An American Musical Extravaganza! <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, strumpets and charlatans, nut jobs and vagabonds, boozers and sycophants... Introduce them already! Our titular act... The, the Four Immigrants! Ready to put on a show Singing and songing we've packed our belongings With hopes and ambitions in tow They say that America means opportunity I pray that America has something just for me So time to be immigrants We're the four immigrants Off to San Francisco Well fellas that's our ship. It's enormous! Just a standard passenger freighter. Nothing compared to some of the cargo ships nowadays. You seem very learned, Charlie Sun. Hang on, my friend. Charlie Sun is fine here in Japan, but once we're off this dock, just plain Charlie, all right? You got it, Charlie. No honorifics in the English language, you see. You're just bursting with knowledge, aren't you? That's right. Well, it's lucky we all ran into each other before boarding. I'm glad I won't have to travel alone. Same here. I was worried I'd get lost in America all by myself. And now we'll all get lost together. Not with old Charlie around. I've read every historical and cultural book there is to read about the United States from the revolution to the gold rush. Do you think there's still some gold left in California? That was 50 years ago. Who needs gold? I can't wait to get a look at the architecture, the landscapes. Ah, an artist, eh? I can't wait to get a look at the girls. Are they distinct? <clears throat> Rudyard Kipling says... San Francisco is a mad city, inhabited for the most part by perfectly insane people, whose women are of a remarkable beauty. Sounds scary. <laughs> Rudyard Kipling? You're going to America and you haven't read Kipling? Oh wait, he's British. <laughs> Tell me, you've read Edgar Allan Poe? Mark Twain? Jack London? London? Is he British too? Oh, Frank. <laughs> Stick with me, fellas. I'll be your American guide. All ashore, we're going ashore. Gentlemen, our future awaits. In California, 
simply venture away from all we've known. What kinds of adventure away us far from home? But we'll stick together through the troubles and the trials. And have you laughed until you have been rolling in the aisles? Introduction. Charlie! How'd you do? The name is Charlie. That will be my English name. To think Japan's behind the times. It's time now for a change. American democracy is what I'm yearning for. So say goodbye to all that came before. So say goodbye to all that came before. Fred! Fred here. Nice to meet you. I'm a rural boy. I'd like to get a plot of land, the farming life enjoy. Oh, but you'll find me back from the city every weekend from the farm, getting frisky with a girl on either arm. You get frisky with a girl on either arm, Frank! Uh, in America, my moniker shall be the name of Frank. Uh, our run successful businesses have money in the bank. I'm not sure how I'll do it, and I may even fail. But I'm on the boat, so might as well sit sail. He's on the boat, so might as well sit sail. Henry! Hello, my name is Henry, and art is what I do best. I'll take my skills from old Japan, combine them with the West, along with recognition for my mastery and craft. I want the world to know that I lived and laughed. He <laughs> wants the world to know he lived and laughed. We see the California coastline. There she is, boys. Look, it's America. See how America opens the gate towards the sea. Sweet San Francisco, we've taken a risk, so please say there's a place left for me. Been sailing three weeks aboard this rotten little ship. Don't fail us so we can say that it was worth the trip. Oh, dearest America, look how America welcomes a traveler like me. Ah, great! You boys have bad eye! Bad eye? He means me. I think I got an infection on that ship. Oh, Frank! You boys have bad eye! Cannot enter! He's the only one with the bad eye. Thanks, Fred! <laughs> you boys need Santa Island! Uh, Island? Angel Island! Uh, I don't get it! I studied English for two years back home and I could barely make out what that officer was saying. I'm um, sorry, fellas. I can't believe my eye got a slammed in the hooskow! <laughs> It's not your fault, Frank. Let's not take credit away from where credit's due. <laughs> True, I'm bad luck. Now he tells us. Look, some Chinese fella wrote a poem on this wall. This sucker was here for three years. Why would anybody want to stay here that long? <laughs> oh, Frank. Look at the immigrants. See the four immigrants. Locked in a cell like some crooks. So their first wing goes by. Held back by my left eye. This will be one for the books. What you doing, Henry? I'm capturing the moment. Why? Who knows? Maybe someday we'll look back at this and laugh. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. No use moping around like this. Do we want the Americans to think that the Japanese are just a bunch of grousers? They only sent us here to make sure we're healthy. Yeah, sending Frank to a doctor would have been cruel. <sighs> we just have to wait. They'll let us go eventually. This can't be the end of us. We haven't even finished our opening number. <laughs> if it's any consolation, my eye has gotten better. Ha! <laughs> what I tell you? It's like the saying goes, when facing adversity, you have one of two choices. Stay down in the dumps and let the doldrums keep you down. Better eye? Boys out! Mainland! Or get up the gumption to believe you can rebound. The heart of an immigrant must be resilient to make the most of this town. San Francisco. San Francisco. We made it. See the four immigrants. We're the four immigrants. Down to the U.S. of A. 
that we come ashore. Time to be planning for all that we'll do by the bay. I'll strike a rich. I'll run a farm. And I'll perfect my art. Just give me several months, I'll be a western man at heart. Oh, we're the four immigrants, four lucky immigrants. We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Respect, Elder, but I ain't planning on going to school. Oh, it's merely a term. Schoolboy uh, is what the locals have come to call a Japanese servant. A servant? Uh, I think I prefer schoolboy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, forget what you call it. I like the sound of not being a servant. Please understand. Outsiders like us aren't allowed into the unions. Even if you go through a Japanese contractor, there's no guarantee you'd be paid fairly on a farm. Working as a schoolboy <laughs> means earning a consistent income, and most employers offer much room and board with much nicer amenities than we have here at the church. Sounds well to me. Like the old saying goes, when you're in a new village, follow the villagers. This'll be our chance to study our new neighbors. Don't you mean your new lords? <laughs> Elder, please excuse us for just one second. Fred, I don't understand why you're griping about a little bit of domestic labor. Charlie, I thought you came here to get away from the whole feudal system thing. It's different, Fred. The Elder says it's just a starting point. Henry, how do you feel about it? Uh, uh, my family owns an inn back home. I'm used to cooking and cleaning for others. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you just the cutest thing? <laughs> right? Well, on the one hand, I agree with you. On the other hand, I agree with the Reverend. Uh, but I agree with you. And on the other hand, I agree with the other boys. Oh, no, oh, Frank. <laughs> Elder, I appreciate the advice, but I'm a farming man. Sorry, boys. But we'll stick together, together through the troubles and the trials. But we'll stick together through the troubles and the trials! Fine! <laughs> but as soon as things turn screwy, I'm heading east to the nearest farm. All right, Elder, how do we officially become schoolboys? A schoolboy operetta! Well, first I get a call, usually from the lady of the house. Yes? <laughs> Have you got schoolboy working hard and quiet as a mouse? <laughs> yes, I have schoolboy. Send him right away to this address. Can he start today? One dollar each week, please tell me yes. Old Charlie's got this one. Wait before you go. different lady. 
bodies. But one by one, they blow it for one reason or another. He <laughs> took apart my stove. He taught my parrot offensive language. He cleaned my kitchen wearing only his undergarments. <laughs> but Fred makes the worst faux pas of them all. He walked in on me while I was bathing. Ah! <laughs> call soon. You'll see. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. It wasn't pretty, but it was kind of humorous, wasn't it? <laughs> It'd be great material for the funny section. Drawing again? Hey, there's Fred! That's the spitting image of Fred! Walking in on that woman! <laughs> quit drawing me, Henry. Ah, oh, it's only a little I spot. said quit drawing me! All right. I'll make myself the lucky eyewitness then. Say, Fred... Do they look like the girls we got back home? Such a kisser, Frank. I'm honest, I want to know. Frank, I bet you haven't even seen the girls we got back home. Say now. <laughs> so, what did she look like, Fred? She looked... disgusted. Her eyes, she was repulsed by me. You did walk in on her while she was bathing. It was more than that. There was something in her scream that said, someone like her... Shouldn't have been seen like that by someone like me. Farmer? Oh, friend. <laughs> We're newcomers here. Uh, it'll take some time for the Americans to get used to us. Like they got used to the Chinese. Well, the Chinese are... They aren't like us. We wear Western clothes. We, we learn the language and the customs. We'll show America with it. Look, you've all had a rough day. Let's go back to the church and freshen up and make a night of it. You gotta have money to make a night of it. I had the foresight to get paid in advance. I can't. I have my first figure drawing class tonight. Skip it. I ain't crossing an ocean just so I can skip class. Don't you want to see some of what Fred saw, Peter? Like I said, I have my first figure drawing class. Uh, what time is this class again? Uh, listen, fellas, it was great getting to know you on the way over here. You're leaving? I thought the plan was to stick this through together. Your plan, Charlie. But you can't go! Why not? This is the four immigrants manga. <laughs> Everyone's expecting the four of us to go on a great American adventure together. Well, the artist will just have to make do with three for now. I told you already, I'm a farming boy. Then we'll all go work on a farm. Sounds fun. I can't leave San Francisco out of my school. I don't need you guys on my tail. But don't worry. Next time you see Fred, I'll be a different man. I'll be a farming millionaire and owe me some land. But the elder said it. Don't pay no heed to no one else, cause I'll be my own man. I'm doing what I said I would when all of this began. That's Fred's plan. Good luck, fellas. The three immigrants rebound. <laughs> Sorry, class. I'll see you later, though. The two immigrants rebound. <laughs> Letter for Charlie. Who is it from? Uh, my father. Well, wasn't that nice? He's got some nerve. What, did I miss something? My father is a former samurai. Oh, golly! Golly nothing! He still lives like it's 1865, back when he was a noble warrior following the ancient code. Everything about this letter is an attempt to prove to me that I should have stayed in Japan, but he's a nitwit. Charlie, you shouldn't talk about your father like that. Why not? We're here in America now. Here a man can speak his mind about his father or his country. He can set his mind on any highfalutin idea and wants and pursue it. You know something? 
we will find jobs. And if we fail at those, we'll find new ones. And eventually, we will succeed. You know why? Why? Because the vibrant beat of America is drowning out the static drone of Japan. And do you know what that beat is? I have a feeling you're gonna sing about it. <laughs> <laughs> 1849, when miners came to mine, with eyes set on that fabled mother load. When pickaxe hit the rock, they faced a goldless shock. With scarcity and paucity, their fate erode. Though many became San Francisco slummers, they found a coup in marching to a hope. Full drummer Optimism Yes, optimism Yes, optimism Changed their heart to zest When those 49ers found No more nuggets in the ground Did they weep and moan Afraid and depressed I think some no. of them might have Op Optimism. Didn't some go bankrupt? They had optimism. Or die. With optimism, <laughs> this her city progressed. San Francisco thrives today, thanks to men who didn't stray from optimism. Rhythm of the West. Oh, you feel that rhythm, Frank? I, know. I said you feel that yeah, rhythm, Frank! I do! <laughs> Come on, let's go for the bigger ratings roll. They whistle and dance their way to Union Square, where they see bums on a bench holding a sign that reads, IWW, join the one big union. Union Square. IWW. Union suckers. Boy, do they know how to take it easy. You know what they need? Optimism. <laughs> Optimism. It's optimism, rhythm of the West. Ah, uh, the Barbary Coast. Are they what I think they are? Well, they ain't Punch and Judy. Gee, it's a little sobering seeing them behind bars. Sobering? Not while I'm in the picture. Optimism. <laughs> optimism. When your luck is down and out, take this syncopated ground. Optimism, rhythm of the West. A robber creeps up behind them. The bums flee and the prostitutes scurry back into the rock. Oh, well oh. done. Don't move. Watch this, Frank. Optimism. <laughs> Charlie? I don't think optimism is gonna get us out of this one. In a skirmish, Charlie is beaten by the robber and stripped of his clothing. The robber flees the scene. <laughs> they are suddenly back in the Buddhist church. What happened? Optimism. <laughs> I'm fine, gentlemen. Minor setbacks are to be expected on the road to success. Look at the U.S. Civil War. How did Lincoln's union finally triumph? He danced a step, a pulse of pep, to raise hopes. How? Optimism. <laughs> they had optimism. Yes, optimistic dreams secured their new fate. What was gonna split in two? Stay to one, and it's all due to optimism, rhythm of the states. This jacket was in our charity box. It's a little too large, but it'll have to do for now. Letter for Charlie! Uh, read it to me, Frank. My son. It has been two months since your departure. Our neighbor's son left around the same time. He has begun sending money to his elderly father. When will you start sending money to your elderly father? 
Your father is a samurai of noble class. Our neighbor is a gardener. I know you can do better than the son of a gardener. Don't forget your motherland, Japan. You okay, Charlie? Never been better. Got any jobs, Elder? You need to stay in bed and rest up. I am rested. I, I am rejuvenated. I'm recuperated. I'm ready to show my father just how much better I can do. Well, since you insist on going against better judgment, there is a family in need of two schoolboys. Molly! Looks like the two immigrants ain't doing so bad, eh? How about entering into business together, Frank? Let's go! See what comes of keeping faith. Ooh, ooh, that's smart. Charlie. Feeling great. Optimism. Rhythm of the states. Come on, Frank. Let's do this job right. Gentlemen, please help keep house neat. Happily, ma'am, with, with our optimistic beat. Oh. Charlie and Frank proceed to tidy up the house in musical theater, dance, magic fashion. The lady gets so wrapped up in the dance as well. Simultaneously, we see the year change from 1904 to 1905. To the land of rising sun. Ooh. <laughs> then again, why dash? Better not be rash. Life can be surprising, son. Yes, life can be surprising, son. <laughs> he seems happy. Of course he is. Because he got a taste of optimism. Optimistic thoughts will live in distress. Even if they think you're dumb, off your rocker or a bum. Don't ignore the beat that comes from your chest. That's optimism from Maine to Chisholm to San Francisco. Everyone will attest. Since that day in Boston, Mass. When the Brits were on our ass And they tried to levy tea We held on to levity Now there ain't no question, no no doubt This Japanese has sussed it out Yes, optimism 